and I welcome back to my channel and I also want to uh, make uh, clarifications about uh, this also for the hexagonal uh, pyramid that is positioned in this form and for this if we are asked to produce the surface development of this pyramid so the true line that we are going to use is this OX so based on how this uh, pyramid is positioned as we have these two corners on this horizontal line so this is the true length this is the true length so you want to develop this the surface of this pyramid just use this length ox as the true length so it's as simple as that then if you look at this now um so for us to produce the surface development of this pyramid so which is positioned in this form based on the form that this plan is uh, looking so what we need to do is to find the true length you cannot use this length oy so length oy is not the true length so we need to find a way of getting the true length of this pyramid as we have here so what you just need to do is to put the point of your compass at point x here then you extend it to point d like this so what we want to do is that we want to bring this point D, we want to bring it to on this line, we want to place it on this line so that we can get the true length of this pyramid. Now, so as I said, so place the point of your compass at point D here at the center, then as uh, sorry, point O and extend to D, then rotate like this. So we rotate it. So wherever it touches here, so it's still on this uh, part of the circle that we have here, on the circumference of the circle. So what I just need to do is to draw a vertical line from here. So here I will draw a vertical line. So I can call this point here. I can call it point D1. So this is D1. Then coming up here, so we have this to be point y1 here so where the vertical line that we drew where it touches this horizontal line so you call it y1 then i'm going to join all y1 together join all y1 together like this okay so this length oy1 is the true length not oy that we have here so there is difference between the um uh, how the front elevation looks and based on how the plan the plan or the plans of the two uh pyramid are positioned so if you look at this one we are able to see this corner of the pyramid then that gives us this line we are all able to see this corner of the pyramid that gives us this line and we're able to see this corner of the pyramid that gives us this line and then this one we're able to see it it gives us this line so that makes us to be, to know that this is the true length based on how this point d is positioned here so this is the true length so we can use this length ox to do the surface development of the pyramid but in this case we can see this corner here so that gives us this line we can see this corner so it gives us this line and we can see this corner it gives us this line but because this uh, line that we have here is positioned in this form so we have to look for a way of rotating this point D bringing it onto this horizontal line then we can draw a vertical line then by the time we join this point O to the point that we have here as a result of the vertical line that we drew we are going to have this to be the true length so the true length of the, this pyramid is O Y1 because of the how uh, because of how this uh, base is positioned so you can go on and use this line OY1 to do the surface development of the pyramid. 
So it's as simple as I've explained it here. All you need to do is to keep it in mind. And when you come across a question like that, you should be able to know the difference between the two and how you are going to go on and draw your the survey development of the pyramid. Thank you and God bless you.